Okay, let's see about uh, taking the packages out of these hives. Hopefully by now the bees have moved up all out of the package and are up top hanging out in the frames with their queen. So first thing I'm going to do actually is go ahead and pull the screen off because when I open the box up the bees are all going to come out anyway. So they've been screened in for about 24 hours. That should be enough time hopefully that they've thoroughly explored the box and decide they like it. Oh good, we'll get them in a little bit. My daughter just reported that we have some eggs. Okay, so we're going to pick them up here. Looks like there's a lot of bees still crawling around down below. A lot of them still clumped up on the package, which is kind of weird. But not too many. So we'll... See, these girls, have, they've been in this package already, you know, for darn near a week, I think, at this point. So we're starting to see more dead loss, really, than I'd like. And that's just kind of the nature of the beast. There we go. Here's the bulk of them up top which is where they should be, up around their queen. So if you guys wanted to see, they're all up here hanging out on the frames. And what I really need to do with these hives today, immediately, is uh, go ahead and get feeder lids put on them and get the frames put back in. But this is the, the process that I would normally do here, is just go through them, you know, like I said, the day after I set them up. And again, the only reason we left that package in there was just so we could do the, the no-shake method, as some people like to call it. Um, well, what I'll do now is I'm going to go ahead and reduce them back down to one box. The only reason we had the spare box on in the first place was to have the space to put the, to put the package. So they don't really need it. girls are extremely gentle. They're barely even moving with me picking them up and moving them around. They're barely even responding that I'm here. I push them out of the way with my fingers. Part of that might be because it is kind of cool this morning, but that may also just be their nature. We'll get them slid back down in there. Straggler knocked off. And then, throw my lid back on here, and they'll be able to find their way back in the box. So there you go. Bees out of the package. I don't know why so many of them are still hanging out on the package. There's our dead loss too. If you guys wanted to see that, that's not what I really like to see. Yeah, that's more than I thought I had in there. It's dead. So if they're all like that, that might be difficult, but I'm gonna get them fed as quick as I can here and get them going and maybe that'll help them kind of bounce back from this. So I showed you how I was reducing um, the one hive back down. Of course, I've numbered them now, so that's number 27, the one I showed you that I reduced back down. Took the package out and everything. Uh, went ahead and did the other four as well. And did the same process on all of them. Broke them back down, moved the frames down into the bottom box, took the package out. Here's my stack of packages. I'm excited about that because I use those for vac boxes. So got me some new vac boxes too. Not that I really need eight of them, but now I got them. Um, anyway got them all broke down and then actually what i did on each one just to help give them a little bit of a uh, little bit of footing make them feel like they're really at home i went through and i gave each one of them a frame of drawn comb either with or without honey brood resources whatever mostly just a, a drawn frame um, and i got that i went through my other hives here because i was looking for feeder lids to put on them because i had just flat lids so i was looking for feeder lids and so the hives that i took the feeder lids off of i also took a uh, frame of comb for them so Got them all set up. You can see they're, they're all sorts of busy and chaotic flying around now trying to figure out what's going on. But 
Looks like there's activity in and out of every box and doesn't look like they're all piling up on one per se. Number 24 looks like it's got a little bit more bees, um, but I'm not too worried about it. I'll check them again tomorrow or the next day and just make sure all the balance and everything's working out and uh, they should be good to go.